Hello everyone. I am Allison. Oh. Hello everyone. Um, so excited to be here and join this um, beautiful cleanse that everyone is um, taking part in. Um, Again, my name is Allison. I am the um, creator owner of Embodied Dance, which is bridging dance and the healing arts. So um, that is a um, something you, if you want to know more about, I put my website in the um, comments. It's um, embodied-dance.com. And um, really looking forward to sharing with you today um, part of my daily practices, which is clearing and grounding and um, I'm going to be offering these meditations on Wednesdays at noon Eastern so this week and then the next two weeks so if you like what we're doing today I'll be on again um, in the next two Wednesdays so I would love for you to join um, so we'll just kind of get right into it um, again I've been in the healing arts about 20 years and um, hands-on healing and every form of um, energy work you could imagine and um, multi-dimensional healing and so uh, what I'll be bringing in is what I'm feeling um, present and alive in this moment and I'll do that each week so they'll all be a little bit different so hey girlfriend <laughs> yeah we're on so we're gonna dive right in and I'm just gonna invite you to get comfortable so take a moment to move your physical body in any way that you need. If you want to just kind of let out a nice long exhale and just bringing your presence and awareness to this moment. And just kind of finding if you can and if it makes sense, um, a sense of symmetry through the body so that you're sensing, especially where both hips are, if you're sitting where both shoulders are and then just kind of feeling and becoming aware of the spine as it lengthens in both directions and you're calling back your awareness to this moment and you're coming fully present and you're letting go of everything that you have been being thinking or doing right up until you arrived here so i'm going to invite you to bring your full presence and energy uh, this will go for i'm not exactly sure maybe 10 15 minutes we'll see what lands and um, i'm just going to invite you to bring your full awareness here so sensing and connecting to your physical presence and energy right so closing the outer eyes if you haven't done so already and bringing the awareness to your physical body in the space that you're in. Noticing your relationship to gravity and what you're sitting on. And just allowing the body to soften. Allowing the weight to pour down into your hips. especially if you've been running around a lot today and you feel kind of like you're in your mind a lot seeing if you can allow a dropping down and into the body and just feeling your connection to the earth whatever it may be wherever you are when you find this coming into a place of stillness of peace where everything in this moment is okay you are safe in this moment it's okay for you to relax and let go in this moment there's nothing you have to do or think about you get to let go of everything right now and you might feel a sense of relief as you begin to soften into this state of being which is your birthright to be to feel right We've been taught quite the opposite, that we are not worthy or lovable or good unless we're doing a hundred things. So that's a lie. And I just want you to find your complete worthiness, presence, and being as this moment that you're in, as your body in this moment. 
We're going to let the breath get a little fuller into that deepest part of the lower belly. And I'm going to invite you to take um, a bit of a three part breath. So letting all of the air out first. And then we'll take three counts of breath in together. One, two, three, filling into the lower, middle, and then upper chest. And then holding the breath just for a moment and letting out a long exhale for three, two, one, letting it out from the top, middle, and then lower belly, holding it out just for a moment. And allowing the breath to come in for three, lower belly, middle belly, up into the lungs. Holding just a moment. If you want to pull up on the root lock called Mula Bandha by squeezing the pelvic floor muscles at this moment, you can and allowing the exhale to come out from the top, the middle, and the bottom of the torso. Holding the breath out. And we're just gonna take one more round of that together. Inhale, one. Lower belly, diaphragm, middle belly, up to the lungs, three. Holding at the top, again, squeezing the pelvic floor muscles, drawing the energy up the spine, holding there and then exhaling out, three, two, one, and letting the breath just stay out. We're going to do one more breath exercise together before I go really deeply into the grounding and clearing. So now that you are kind of more consciously aware of the breath, I want you to think about bringing the breath, this is a very simple thing that you can do, is bringing the breath to a place of equalness in the inhale and exhale. And this is gonna help bring the body to balance much, much quicker. Like the quickest, easiest thing you can do, right, is work with the breath. So you're going to notice how your inhales and exhales are naturally. And you're gonna to work to equalize them. So if you're taking about four or five counts of breath in, you're going to take four or five counts of breath out. Right. So I'm just going to give you some space and allow for that right now. So letting the inhale come in. And we'll again try to take about four or five counts together. And then letting out again the same amount of breath. A few more rounds of that. Noticing if it's easier to inhale or easier to exhale because there might be a little tension on one side. So inhaling about four or five counts. And letting out again about four or five counts. One more round. Exhaling out. And just noticing how these two quick, short little exercises already begin to shift and change the energy that you're experiencing. So I'm going to lead us into a deeper grounding and clearing now. So keeping your eyes closed, we're just going to feel the energetic field around us. So imagining your front body, what's available to you, the sensations and the awareness of the front body. Bringing awareness to the back body. What is available to you in the back body presence and energy? What do you notice? Right side body. What is available to you? What do you notice? Left side body, what is available to you? What do you notice? Above, above the head? I'm already starting to clear. It makes me like burp a little bit. <laughs> so if you start clearing the energy, right? So what is available to you above the crown? And what is available to you below the feet? And just feeling your full body in space in this moment. 
We're going to ask any and all energy that are not a contribution to your highest self to be cast out of your field immediately. Any and all frequencies and thought forms, energies, beings, entities that um, are in your field or in your energetic space that are not contributing to your highest and best, we are immediately casting them out. I'm going to just do a little bit of light language. So light language, if you're not familiar with it, is kind of our mother tongue. It's something that everyone can access. And it is a really beautiful way of kind of um, decimating <laughs> negative frequencies. So you're going to hear me make some sounds that don't sound like any language except for something you might not recognize. So again, just casting out all heaviness, all density, all darkness, all um, energies that would uh, serve to impede you. So as I invoke this sort of frequency, it's just supporting that split between your higher self and the lower vibrations, right? Anyone's energy that you have picked up, known or unknown, conscious or unconscious, in person or online, that is affecting you in any negative way, we're going to cast out of the field. And you might begin to feel your crown open or just a little bit of lightness here. And we're just going to return to sender or return to source anything that is coming at us vibrationally or energetically that is not a contribution, that is not a benefit to us. Casting out again anything at all that is not for you. And now we're going to Open the crown to receive a beautiful golden source light from the heart of God, source creator, whatever you prefer to call it, right? So opening the crown to receive a beautiful golden light that's also mixed with emerald green. And it's got this beautiful um, masculine structure to it, right? This emerald frequency coming down and in and it's coming into the central column of the spine and it's coming down and in through the chakra system and down and in between the vertebra and it's activating the cells and it's sort of recalibrating your energetic field as we bring down this gold and emerald liquid light into the crown down into the heart And just taking a moment to become aware of what is present and true in the heart space. Is there heaviness there? Is there sadness there? Is there something for you to know? And we're just going to tune into the heart for a moment. And as you tune into the heart, just asking the heart to share with you its present state. And the more that you kind of give the mic or give the reins to your own heart, the more that the heart will begin to lead. And the heart is something actually you can trust, despite our, um, you know, maybe romantic conditionings around things that we've, you know, that's a whole other conversation. But the heart is really something that truly wants to guide you. And it really is, in my opinion, the portal to divine knowing. So leaning into your heart space a little deeper as we clear this in and out with this gold and emerald frequency. And now drawing up from the belly of Mother Earth and the Holy Mother, we're going to take an aqua frequency all the way up now into the womb space letting this aqua frequency, this water, begin to gently wash inside the womb, clarifying and again clearing out density, stuckness, pain, 
I'm just feeling this nourishing, soothing balm of aqua come into the womb space. And now you're holding this aqua in the womb and this emerald in the heart. And you're going to begin letting them merge like a figure eight. So with the inhale, the aqua begins to draw up through the third chakra and then into the heart and then back down, completing the cycle. So you're making again this full figure eight the womb energy weaving into the heart and then the heart weaving down into the womb and just creating this energetic um, companionship between the two. One of the things that severed the most in people is the heart and the sacral connection. So part of our reclamation of power is actually weaving them back together so that they can function together right as a whole instead of as this disconnected disjointed thing right so finding again the breath and the space and the connection weaving emerald gold down and making that figure eight into the aqua kind of plasma light up and in right and just allowing those two energies to really um, come into relationship and blend Just taking another few breaths with that. And coming back up into the heart, lastly, we're going to become aware now of kind of the right side of the body and the left side of the body and interweaving them through the heart space, right? So inhaling right side of the body, exhaling left side of the body, inhaling left side of the body exhaling the right so you're weaving this energetic um, infinity loop right that goes like this with your breath and this is helping support the masculine and the feminine aspects of you we each carry both and they both have epic strengths and they need each other right so inhaling and exhaling into the masculine and exhaling into the feminine and just noticing how your energy shifts and changes as you breathe into one sphere of the body and move into the other. And just a few more rounds of breath. Inhaling right side of the body, exhaling left. Inhaling left side of the body, exhaling right. And then finally meeting back in the middle, right in the center of the heart space and coming into a hope, dream or wish you have for yourself um, for the remainder of the time that you have in this container. So what is it that you are really hoping to leave this cleansing time with? What would you really love to experience or share? And just allowing that vision to land in your heart space of a new possibility for you. What is now becoming possible in this energetic field and container? When you are feeling more clear and more free and more aligned to the real you, what is now possible? What is your true desire? And just spending a few moments really envisioning with the heart and planting a seed of that vision now in the heart space. Mm, beautiful, Tess. Leaving behind and making peace with all parts of identity that no longer serve. I think that's so true right now for the collective. I feel like um, it's so beautiful that you're doing this cleanse right now at this time of the year because it's almost like the, the true calendar starts in the spring. And I really feel like this new year is kind of starting now right after like that um, spring equinox. So we're kind of all coming into this shedding of skin and this time of renewal just as the earth is. So really staying with that vision in the heart space and really letting the energy of the heart really nourish it. 
like a really beautiful um, soil of the heart so that that seed gets really nourished in the heart. And just holding that for just a few more moments and breaths. And now you're going to allow that vision of the heart. You're going to contain it in the heart, but you're going to allow the energy of it to now drop into your womb. You're going to hold that again like a seed of energy into the womb. Notice how the vision feels in the womb. Holding it in the womb space where we have the potential to birth fully and truly that which we desire, right? Or that which is our, of our highest and best. Sometimes it's good that we don't get everything that we desire, but if we truly align with what is the highest and best for us, we will always receive it, right? But allowing it to plant be received in the womb and now we're going to bring it from the womb to the root, the base, the tailbone and then dropping an anchor from the base and the tailbone now into your earth star. So imagining you have a beautiful crystal about six inches or a foot beneath your feet and now it's going to be dropped into the earth below you now becoming part of the crystalline grid of Mother Earth. And it's holding that frequency for you. Also, so anyone else who is ready to receive that upgrade can also now receive it as it's part of this living light of the Earth. Beautiful. So now we're just going to seal up the field in a 12D shield. And then just grounding down the rest. All work done and so it is. So letting the breath come back a little deeper, fuller, if you want to move and stretch and kind of come a little bit back more into your waking space. Take all the time you need. I hope this was really helpful. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> um, I hope this was helpful in finding more clearing and grounding and alignment with more of your truth and more of your heart and more of your embodiment. Um, again, my name is Allison and my work is Embodied Dance. And uh, if you want to know anything more about that, I'd love to connect with you. I'm really happy to be here. Um, I will be here again next uh, the next two Wednesdays at noon EST. And I will look forward to seeing you then. Um, message me if you have any questions about this work. And um, I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful day.